What's up, guys? It's Fitzbro back with another Age of Empires news update. Um, as we all know, this Saturday, April the 10th, there is a big announcement coming for Age of Empires 2, Age of Empires 3, and Age of Empires 4. And there have been a few social media posts I've seen floating around, and I wanted to share with you guys uh, what I thought they might mean. And I wanted to take a second to invite you guys this Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Head on over to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Fitzbro. And we are going to be having a viewing party of this new trailer. And then we will be having a discussion about, you know, what we think all that's going to mean. And uh, I'll talk about all the things that are sure to be super exciting. And then we'll dive right into playing some Age of Empires 3 ladder games. So I hope you'll join me there. And uh, let's take a quick look at what I have found this week. Okay, guys, let's dive into the Age of Empires Twitter. Um, if you have not already checked out Age of Empires on social media, they are putting out a daily post hyping up this event on April 10th. And I'm sure there will be more hype um, leading to the release of these, uh, we expect to be expansions and the release of Age of Empires 4. Um, so the first thing that I noticed here is about a week ago on April 1st, um, they made a post that you're going to be able to create your own custom digital medallions. I'll play this clip real quick for you. <laughs> so real short, quick, <laughs> quick clip, but you can see from the music, uh, they're really trying to get some hype going, uh, even around some simple things such as making your own medallion. So I guess maybe that'll be your, your new, uh, thumbnail you can create with an Age of Empires theme, uh, but that's kind of cool. It's going to be uh, made available, it looks like, on their website uh, on the 10th. Um, and then if you scroll up here, I'm kind of excited about this one. Uh, they say, uh, sneaking a look at Age of Empires fan preview event coming your way, uh, you'll be able to create your own one-of-a-kind coat of arms. Um, so personally, as a Lakota player, uh, I would love to create a, a, a coat of arms with, with some bison on here. I think it would be pretty cool. Um, and I think this is kind of geared a little more to age two. But of course, you know, I think this is what age four is going to, you know, kind of look like for the most part. Um, but I think this will be fun. It looks like they're making a few ways just kind of to, you know, get to, to get started and get some hype around Age of Empires uh, by making some some simple little logos, thumbnails. So I, th I think that's going to be pretty fun. Um and of course, uh, there's just more information about the preview on the 10th. Um, there's also going to be a way to make a, a medallion. I guess maybe we could we could put this face right there on on that medallion. Uh, uh, it, it, it seems like they're 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 really excited about this feature. Um, I think it'll be fun. So uh, we'll just have to check that out on Saturday. Uh, and then here, you're going to want to check out this map. Um, so they have, uh, if you weren't good enough at a clock or Google already, you can see all the times around the world where this event's going to be taking place. Um, they've, of course, selected a random, uh, random places. But uh, for me, I'm going to be here in the 12 p.m. Uh, uh, New York time zone here if you're going to join me. But uh, if you're around the world, you might want to check this out or print it out if you're not very good with clocks. And uh, so you can make sure you're on time for our, uh, our viewing party. Um, and this is the newest thing that I saw today that I, I had to get on here and talk to you guys about. So it says Age of Empires 3, uh, uh, three days until the Age of Empires 3 fan review. Three, like the Age of Empires 3. Uh, Definitive Edition, prepare for, a, prepare for a new shipment. Age of Empires 3. Tune on the 10th to find out what's on the way from the States. So we saw last week, if you saw my previous video, that they've leaked that United States is most likely going to be one of the new civilizations for Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. And I think this just further solidifies what we already knew. They're talking about the States and let's blow up this picture and take a closer look here. Um, and you'll notice first thing, you see this red, white, and blue uniform. Now you could say, we could, we could have British troops wearing something similar or or perhaps for French troops, but you know, this is uh really screams USA to me. Um, we got some apples here. I don't know if that really means anything. You always look at every little part of these pictures. Um, but if we look really closely at these cards on the table, um, we have coins and an age three very clear here. So it really makes me think uh, there's going to be something unique with the uh, United States to have to do uh, with, with gold gathering. So I don't, I don't know quite what that might be. Um, perhaps they're going to dig into like the theme of you know, the gold rush out west or something like that. Um, but uh, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what goes on as far as their unique uh, eco strengths. But I, I would think something with gold looking at this. 
I mean, if you look closely here on this card, that is very clearly an ironclad, and it has the number two there, an H4. So it really leads me to believe that you're going to be able to ship ironclads in H4 with the United States, um, which should, will definitely uh, be a strong uh, a naval shipment, I imagine. Um, I don't think there's a, there are a ton of really strong H4 um, naval shipments, or if you know you even want them necessarily. But I guess they're you know they kind of have that monitor ability, so that could be really strong. Uh, especially think, I'm thinking about maps like New England, right? Um, with shipping these guys into the pond. And you can't really see what's the, under this last card here, but it looks like to me the corners of a British flag. And we can't see exactly what this is, but to me, this looks like the start of an R for a revolution. You can't see exactly if it connects, but I really have a feeling uh, that this might be a British revolution available for the United States. I, I wonder... Um, if that could be a possibility, uh, but I'm going to ask for you guys, leave in the comments below, what do you think, uh, you know, that this card is going to represent, what do you think is going on with these gold cards? Um, I, I, I think pretty confidently this, this is going to be United States civilization. Um, and I'm, I'm anxious to hear, uh, your thoughts on all of these, but that is, uh, kind of the updates I've seen the last few days. I wanted to keep this short. Um, and I hope you guys can join me this Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Twitch for our viewing party. And I will see you there. Hey, guys, if you have not already, head on over to twitch.tv slash and hit that follow button to catch my next gaming live stream. I'll see you there.